what? Yeah. Scorpio. What's up, man? What's up, Scorpio? As you can see, the goddess Hatat Horatat is back on the scene. <laughs> yeah, with a whole new setup and a whole new deck. Got the Love Oracle cards and the Triple Goddess deck. Okay, and I'm so in love with it. Okay, let me turn this down there. Okay, now this is your general love reading for the first half of April, Scorpio. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off. <laughs> and it's because it's time to get serious. It's time to get serious, Scorpio. It's time to do this thing, okay? Because basically what I'm seeing from the cards here, man. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this, man. Okay, man, so check this out, Scorpio. You got strength here. So, basically, this is telling, this is saying to me that you're going to have to have the strength and courage to reawaken or resurrect something in you that is no longer living, okay? Or that you feel has died. You're going to have to resurrect that, okay? That could be anything. That could be your love you know what i'm saying maybe you feel that your soul has died maybe you feel that you know something inside you your passion something has died but while you're doing this scorpio you're going to have to make sure that you can finish it with the nine of wands here don't start reawakening this part of yourself not unless you are able to maintain and finish what it is that you start and Fighting for what it is that you're passionate about, okay? This is the knight of, of of chalices, okay? This is somebody fighting for what it is that they love, fighting for what it is that they're um, passionate about. That's your energy right there with the knight of chalices, okay? Now, the next row here says this, Scorpio, okay? You're trying to uh, collaborate with somebody, you're trying to be a team player, or somebody is trying to be that with you, okay? They're not going, they don't want you to go at it alone, but it may be something that you have to do alone, because here you are juggling and trying to find balance on whether you want to be with this person, or this person wants to be with you, so they're juggling you, and they're juggling somebody else, or you're juggling some type of idea to awaken something inside of you. And you're juggling the idea not to, okay? Rather to leave it out in the cold, feeling left out in the cold, or leaving somebody else out in the cold, Scorpio, okay? That's the five of wands right there. Now, here we go. Here we go, man. Here we go. Stay with me, Scorpio. That's walking away right there with the eight of, the eight of chalices, okay? That's walking away. This is chalice energy. Chalice energy. So, you're going to be walking away or somebody's going to be walking away from you. And you are who they love because this is the chalice energy. That's the soul speaking right there. That's the love speaking right there. That's the emotion speaking right there. So there's somebody emotionally walking away from somebody else. And because they, they know that it's over, the ten of souls. They know when it's time to, to cut this out, when it's time to end this bad boy. Okay? They know that it's that time. That things have just reached a, a full, you know, cycle that is over it's fully complete and you have to walk away from this person or this person got to walk away from you and that's basically running that's the night of swords you're running away from somebody or somebody's running away from you they're bursting away going towards what it is that they have set their mind to they set their intention to this right here is the sword energy so this is the mind energy okay so scorpio when we go across here okay we got somebody trying to have the strength and courage to awaken that aspect of themselves that uh is dead okay and 
Or that could be somebody else trying to come at you to awaken something that has been dead and gone between you two. Because we got it next to the three of pentacles. They're trying to be a team player right now. They're trying to come in and collaborate with you when this person walked away from you. Okay? This person walked away from you. They left you alone to act like they didn't even want to be with you anymore. The love didn't mean nothing to them. They walked away. Um... Okay, it could be saying that too, Scorpio. Now, or it could be saying that this person wants to be a team player with you, but you know you got to walk away even though you have feelings for this person. And if you're going to walk away like that, make sure that you can stay gone, Scorpio. Make sure that you can stay gone. Don't be juggling the idea of coming back to this person. Know that it's over. Now, you're going to fight for something that you want. Something that you want because you've been feeling left out in the in the cold, feeling unwanted, feeling unloved by this person. So you're charging towards something that's going to make you feel love. Okay? Going to make you feel that love, Scorpio. The love that you need. Alright? That that's that seems to be like, you know, two messages here. You either walking away from somebody or somebody walking away from you because it's just over. It's just over, Scorpio. I mean, there's nothing you could do about that. You know, the past is the past. Stop trying to bring back to life something that is already dead. Okay? Or you bring it back to life something that is dead in you. Okay? Coffee. This person wants to, you know, meet up with you. You know what I'm saying? They they want to have a friendship with you. They don't want to be at odds with you. They want to go out for some coffee and, and talk to you. Okay? They want to have some friendship. They want to uplift you. You know what I'm saying? They want to savor every moment with you. They want to talk to you, Scorpio. They just want to talk to you. That's how they that's how they plan to reawaken this thing that has died between y'all. Okay? Here we go. Passion. Passion. Okay, Scorpio? Uh insane chemistry. Like each other equally, having fun, okay? That's on the collaboration. That's on somebody who wants to be a team player coming at you with chemistry that y'all both have, okay? So this is going to be hard to do, Scorpio. This this is your soulmate. Damn, Scorpio. That's your soulmate? <sighs> the perfect partnership and agreement. This is a soul contract that you're walking away from that has died, Okay? That has died. Hold up, man. We got to see what the angels got to say about this, man. Scorpio, we got to see what the angels got to say about this because this right here is a serious, serious situation. I mixed up my old deck of all the major arcanas, okay? Both of my decks have been mixed up with all the major arcanas. So we're trying to see what the angels, the angels have to say about this, okay? What the angels have to say for the Scorpio. Now, come on with all them cards. I got a lot to say for the Scorpio. <laughs> Got a lot to say for the Scorpio, okay? Here we go. Magician. Magician. So, this person is basically going to try to work their magic by talking to you, okay? Trying to talk to you. Trying to finish something that they begun with you a long time ago, okay? They're going to be trying to work their magic with you. They're going to be trying to talk you into... Um, being with them. This is a magician. Okay? They're a magician. They're going to be doing every single thing in their power. They have everything at their disposal to do it too. They have the right type of mindset. They have the right type of emotion. They have the right type of temperament with the wand. They got their pentacle too. They got, they're going to put the time in this. So somebody's going to be pursuing that, Scorpio. Okay, here we go. Boom. Was that the, the tower? <laughs> oh... Okay, so the tower here. Well, the tower came between y'all because there was no equality. There was no real love. You know what I'm saying? There was just passion here. Passion, but y'all needed to have love. Y'all needed to have love. Y'all needed to be equal with each other. They needed to like each other. Y'all needed to have more than just chemistry. Okay? Y'all needed to have love. You know, that passion is that lust card. But this person was your soulmate. Oh, here's the strength again. 
Okay, the goddess Sekhmet as the strength, okay? And the emperor. Hmm. So the emperor has to have strength. This is your emperor who is coming at you, who is your soulmate, who has everything that they need. Like I said, right here, they got everything that they need. Okay, yeah, there was a tower moment between y'all because there was, like I said, no love. There was just passion. Okay, now here we got the, the, the segment right here. We, the emperor is coming at you with courage and strength to do what it is that they need to do by you, to be the type of person that need to be for you, Scorpio, okay? And that's basically what's going on. They want to collaborate with you. They want to be a team player. Yes, they walked away. Or even though they're doing this, coming at you, you still going to walk away even though you love them. You know what I'm saying? But this person is going to start this thing and they know that they're going to have to finish it. They can't be juggling you and another person or another idea or another uh, path in life because you will end that bad boy. That juggling is what caused this thing to end. You know what I'm saying? That's what caused this thing to end. So... You know, you're going towards and you're fighting for what it is that you're passionate about or that. No, this person is fighting for it. Or it could be both of y'all. You're fighting towards something that you're passionate about. This for this person is fighting for you. Okay? And that's um that's basically what's going on here. They're coming in strong, Scorpio. Okay? They're coming in strong. The Emperor is strong. He knows exactly what he wants and he's going to get it. Okay, he's going to get it. So you got that, Scorpio? You got that, man? Look, man, you're going to have to have more than passion and chemistry in your relationship with your soulmate. Because if you don't, this bad boy is going to go ahead and end again. You know, have to, you're going to have to know what love is and friendship is to have this type of union with this person or this person is coming at you realizing that, yeah, y'all going to have to be friendly with each other. Y'all going to have to be, you know, loving with each other because y'all soulmates, y'all twin ways, twin rays, y'all twin souls. You know what I'm saying? So y'all going to have to go ahead and make this thing happen. But if y'all go ahead and make this thing happen, be sure to finish what it is that you start, if you're going to allow this person to awaken that part in you that died for them, then you're going to have to make sure that this person does right by you with the nine of wands and finish what it is that they start and stop juggling you, Scorpio, okay? That's basically it, man. That's basically it, Scorpio, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by on my page. If you want a personal reading, uh, my description, I mean, my email is in the description, uh, you know, below this video. Okay, like I said, I thank you all for stopping by, Scorpio. Yeah, I gotta go, man. I got to go, Scorpio. <laughs> Peace, love, and light, man.